Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Claire, and welcome to another episode of Miss Bulgian's Classroom. Today, we are going to discuss about how to convert PDF files to digital worksheet in Google Slides. But before that, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe. If you have a worksheet in PDF file and you want it to convert to digital worksheet so that you can share it in your Google Classroom, I think this one best works for you. So the Microsoft Windows have snipping tools. I am using MacBook, so I don't have the snipping tool, but I have screenshot. How are you going to do the screenshot? That is just command, shift, and then number four okay so the first thing that you are going to do is snip or get a screenshot of the worksheet of your choice so say for example this one i choose the heat transfer i will move my camera a little bit okay and then take a screenshot of this one so command shift four and just select okay there you are and then my screenshot automatically saves to my desktop. Now go to your um, Google Drive, okay, and then create new. Go to Google Slides and then make a blank presentation. Choose Create and Share. Okay, and then Let's just wait for it. I don't want this one. You may want this presentation be blank. Okay. And then I will just change it to the file name to heat transfer. Digital. There. And then you may want to change the page setup according to the size of the paper. So this is custom. The size of the paper is 11 by 8.5. Okay, there you are. So this is 11 by 8.5. And then if you are worried that your children or your students can move your files or can change your files, this is the tip. So click background, choose image, all right? And then, so... I will just drag my screenshot from here. There you are. <laughs> and then there you are. So that is your um, background. So in that way, they will not able to move your files, okay? Or your text or whatever it is in there. And now, how are we going to make this slide editable for the students by the power of text box so we're going to put text box in there or all in the space where you want the students to fill in their answers again don't worry all the things that you see in there they cannot be changed because that is your background so let's say you will write here type here okay you may just uh adjust a little Okay, and then you may want to change it to other colors so the students can easily see where they are going to type in their answers. And then you just want to copy that, fill that into other boxes, okay? All right, let's say um, I'm done with everything. Now, how are you going to share this to your students? Go to your Google Classroom, create an assignment, okay? Type in energy, heat transfer. You may want to put instruction, it's up to you. You may want to say, change the text or write your answer. 
in the black. You may want to put bracket. It says type here. Here. And then add. Go to your Google Drive. It should be in your recent file, this one. And change this one. Instead of students can view file, make it make a copy for each student. So they can able to change it and then click assign. So there you are guys. I hope it will be helpful for you and you can use it in the future. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe in my channel. Thank you, have a great day.